Hey guys, it's Backabuts here, and I changed the background because it seems that my broken ass camera can't focus on Gorgonoid in front of the computer. So, we're gonna uh, do this. We're gonna show a Bakugan case, which fits the theme better, anyways. So, uh, of course, this is Chaos Gorgonoid. As you can see on the card, it's also an Ultra, Gargonoid Ultra, B power 400, damage rating 3, uh, Becca Core's shield, which is hiding, and fist. So yeah, pretty cool. Gargonoid was one of the older Bakugan that got recreated in the, uh, a uh, reboot. So that's cool. I'm and uh here's the ability card I got with it. Blinding green gleam. Minus three damage to an enemy back on or plus three damage to one of your own back on. Uh pretty versatile. Don't know if it's gonna be any good, but I can't make a judgment on that right now. Uh ball form, not the worst with the tumors, but not the best either. Um, but the detail definitely makes up for that. It has these really cool chain details all around it, like it's being restrained, and that's just super cool for a gargoyle. Um, I wish they had a little bit of paint, but I mean. I'm just nitpicking with the paint here, because there's some that are just done so well that it's unfair to the others. But, um, yeah. Definitely not the pa best paint work on the Battle Planet back on, but definitely still a cool one. So, let's roll it. And I missed. Uh, you know, okay. Whatever. This guy lands 100% of the time. I have never had him not land the way he's supposed to. Um, again, has no manual parts. And look at this. It's insane how complicated this folding is. Uh, the detail on there is great. The head is really great. I, I love it. B power 400. This is probably my favorite Ultra Bakugan that I got. Um, I don't really like the color scheme for Chaos, but this thing is just so cool. I love the way it opens, and it kind of looks like a, a gargoyle crouching over, especially at like, this angle from head on. I love it. I love it so much. It looks kind of weird from a slightly higher angle. But it looks really cool. Um, painting, not the best, not the worst. But the sculpting is, mwah. The the molding, this isn't uh, the, the the molding, <laughs> whatever. Sculpting, molding, I, I I don't care. Um, also, has a little bit of green for the bottom jaw. Which was unnecessary, but appreciated nonetheless. And these legs are just so cool. Um, this thing is a level 3 folding difficulty. Which is just dumb because Hydorus <laughs> and Halicor, in my opinion, are a lot harder. This guy's not actually that hard. Um, so... Let me show you. So, you take his arms, you push them back, and then fold them like that. Head goes down. Legs go like that. Wings go like that. And once you get the wings, you can just hold those and they get everything else. Uh, this is kind of tricky. Sometimes the wings close too tight for the tail to get through, so you kind of got to finagle that. Just 
whip the tail around. Uh, and something is wrong. Because it's missing the clip. Oh, okay. Yeah, the hand's in the way. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh my god. Um, is that working? Alright, there we go. Alright, alright. <laughs> um, I had a little more difficulty with that on camera, but it's a lot easier in real life. Again, I love the chain detailing. That is so cool. Um, Garganoid. There's in the character that <laughs> didn't at that time didn't even pick anything up. There isn't a character that use gar uses Garganoid in the show yet, so its only desirability is the fact that it's a a remake of an older Bakugan. Um, so low desirability, competitive wise, it seems pretty well rounded. Could be good, could be bad. Um, again, I haven't seen Garganoid's evolution cards, but um, yeah. I think the main appeal of Garganoid is the toy form. This thing is just epic. I love it. Of all the Ultras, um, if you're going to pick one Ultra, I definitely recommend Garganoid over basically everything else I've seen. Um, I, I love the design. It won't be the most desirable back on by everyone but it looks cool and it's not too hard to fold i mean it is an ultra so it is pretty hard to fold but it's not the most difficult and it's just i i, I can't i can't say enough how much better i think this is than the other ultras i've reviewed so far um again i wish it didn't have those tumors on the ball form but this thing just makes up for that because, I mean, it, it makes up for that because it's just, just so cool. I keep repeating myself, but it looks cool. It all it almost always lands the way it's supposed to, and yeah, there's not much else to say about it. I I love this one. Um, I I love it more than the other ones. The last Fashion Gun I'll try to review today is the only one that comes close to uh, beating it as my favorite Ultra. But, yeah, it, it, it definitely doesn't. This thing just looks great. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend Garganoid. There is going to be more desirable back on, but... It just gets bonus points for being so cool. Um, I don't think I looked at its back of course, um, but it is a fist and a shield, like it's shown on the card right here. Uh, I'm not gonna. Sh I, I, I'm pretty sure these are randomized in packs, but just in case, I'm not gonna show the bottom because um, I got these all mixed up. So if they aren't random in the boxes, I don't want to tell you you're getting something you're not. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright. So yeah, Garganoid, I highly recommend this one. Uh, of all the Ultras, I recommend it the most. And um, that's it for my review of Garganoid. And I'll see you guys in the next one.